What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade iMovie in OS 10 Yosemite uh, to a previous version. So uh, the process is actually pretty simple. It's not too hard at all. Um, but yeah, first thing before getting started however is you need to make sure that of course you have a computer running OS 10 Yosemite which uh, that's most likely the reason why you're watching this video and you also need to have a computer running either OS 10 Mountain Lion or OS 10 Mavericks. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the version of iMovie that I'm going to be downgrading to is iMovie 11. And I have that version of iMovie right here uh, in the Applications folder. Um, so the way to actually downgrade is... What you need to do is go into Finder and Applications on your OS X Mountain Lion or Mavericks based MacBook um, and find the iMovie 11 um, uh, application file. And from there, you want to right click on it and go down here to Copy. And now you have copied that version of iMovie to your clipboard. And do be aware that this will work with other versions of iMovie. It does not strictly have to be iMovie 11. As you can see, you can use this version of iMovie as well. Um, I'm, uh, this is the version that came with OS X Mavericks. So you can do it with that one as well. But like I said, in this case, we're doing I, uh, iMovie 11. But yes, yeah, so once you have copied the application file to your clipboard... Uh, what you need to do then is plug in a USB flash drive and copy that file to the flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in a flash drive now. All right. And wait for it to show up in Finder. All right. So here we are. So go ahead and click on it and then right click and hit paste. And from there it will then paste the iMovie file in or onto the flash drive. Uh, so, once you've done that, and once the copying process has completed, uh, what you're the, uh, going to do then is need to switch over to your OS X Yosemite uh, MacBook, or Mac, it doesn't really matter what type of computer, um, and then copy it onto the OS X Yosemite computer. So, I will see you guys back on a screen recording in OS X Yosemite. So, I will be right back. All right. Uh, now uh, that you are on OS X Yosemite, uh, what you need to simply do is go over to Finder and open that up and then click on your USB flash drive that you copied iMovie uh, 11 uh, onto. Uh, and then from that, what you need to just simply do is drag and drop uh, the iMovie application file onto uh, your desktop. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, let this finish now. Alright, uh, now that the iMovie file has finished uh, copying over to the desktop, uh, that's pretty much all you gotta do. You're pretty much done now. Um, <clears throat> from here, you can decide whether or not if you fully want to downgrade iMovie by totally replacing uh, this the new version of iMovie or you can choose to keep the old version of iMovie and put it say for example in the dock like so uh, and use it side by side to the new version so but yeah if you do choose to keep both versions of iMovie um, What's neat about this is that you can actually have both versions of iMovie running uh, side by side. And essentially what that means is you can essentially work on two different iMovie projects at the same exact time. As well as <coughs> um, exporting two iMovie projects at the same time as well. So to give a quick demonstration of that, I'm going to open up iMovie 11. But anyway, okay, here is iMovie 11 opened up. Now I'm going to open up the new version of iMovie. Alright, so okay, here is the new version of iMovie. So, 
Now, as you can see, both versions of iMovie are running side by side. As you can tell here, the old version here, new version over here. Now, if you wanted to, you can easily put these applications into full screen and easily swipe between the two. So as you can see here, here's the desktop, iMovie 11, and then the newest version of iMovie. And like I said, you can be working on two separate projects at the same time, as well as export two separate projects at the same exact time which is extremely useful. Uh, it's a really, really nice way to do this. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed and thought it was helpful and useful. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that like button as well. Much appreciated. And if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, leave those in the section below, and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. So... Yeah, with all that being said, once again, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thought it was helpful. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.